Hey folks, I know the normal content for my channel is uh, Roll20 videos, uh, Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, but I'm also uh, a PowerShell enthusiast, and I've got a couple of games on my website, uh, 20sidedblog.com, written in PowerShell, but they're simple things, a snake game uh, and a match three game. But I was watching a YouTube video the other night of Donkey Kong and the various ports over the years, from the arcade to the console ports to 8-bit computer ports. And uh, looking at a couple of the 8-bit computer ports, uh, you know, admirable that they created them, but they were pretty rough. And this is really no better. Uh, but I figured it might be fun to uh, go ahead and try and create a Donkey Kong style game in PowerShell. So here's what I've come up with so far, and I'm just gonna launch it and start playing. Uh, your character is along the bottom of the screen right now. I've got uh, climbing up ladders. I got barrels coming down at me. Barrels have about a 30% chance to take a shortcut down a ladder up like that when they see one. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this barrel to run into me. And you see, uh, I'm doing collision detection. I'm doing animated frames for the characters. Uh, the barrels themselves are animated, though it's kind of hard to see. They turn from parentheses to square brackets and back. Although when they roll downward, uh, they become elongated and uh, it's easier to see the animation happening. And I am doing collision detection. Oh, that barrel came down the, the uh, ladder on top of me. Try that one more time. There's really nothing that happens when you get to the top. I haven't written anything there yet. But my point here was, uh, can I make a game that has a fairly consistent frame rate, running under PowerShell, uh, which is really not intended for this kind of thing, uh, that's playable. And I've got, I think I can have upwards of six or seven barrels on the screen at the same time in this iteration of the game. The, the time between barrel spawns is randomized somewhat. There is a built-in delay, but there's also a random component added to it. Um, oh, I almost got hit by that one if it hadn't turned down the ladder. So uh, I just wanted to see if this was even feasible in PowerShell. Uh, the code is not great at this point. They need to optimize some things and probably do a bit of refactoring to make it presentable. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I think it worked out amazingly well for, for what uh, PowerShell is supposed to do. Uh, once I get it cleaned up, uh, I will, and of course you notice nothing happens when you reach the top level. Uh, once I get it cleaned up and uh, polished a little more, I'll put this up on my website with the code for people to look at. Um, obviously, this is not intended as a challenge to anyone's rights to Donkey Kong. Uh, it's no one could mistake this for a real version of Donkey Kong. I just thought it was fun to uh, play around with PowerShell and uh, put something like this together. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.